WHSV News 3's Dave Beichner shows us the sights. Without the STEM Academy program, students from Harrisonburg schools would have a harder time understanding science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. Educators feel that by incorporating fun into their learning, more of them are going to get jobs in the rapidly expanding 21st century work world. You have to hook them when they're young. You have to pique their interest at a young age. If you do that, then we're going to create more engineers and more scientists and hopefully a more diverse group of scientists and engineers. One of the main focuses of STEM is the hands-on approach to learning. The idea of STEM Day is that by allowing the students to show off their experiments and interact with the public while doing so, the minds of young folks will start to run wild with possibility. It's better if like, other um, you know, kids and students show them instead of like an older person, they can look up to them and they can see, wow, if this person can do it, I could probably do this in a couple of years. So that's just like, you know, it's great influence on them. Kids like Jalen Smith are already starting to reap the rewards of the STEM program. After today, he expressed interest in joining. I'm having like a lot of fun right now. And, uh, here's like one of the activities that I made. Like it's supposed to be like a drum pet. And then since I've been all over the place, it got kind of destroyed. He seems to be responding to everything quite well, especially um, the robotics. He seems to find a keen interest and is maybe opened up opportunity for him to do it outside of the setting and maybe do it at school or maybe do it at home. Or in Harrisonburg, Dave Blackness, WHSV. News 3.